Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best YouTuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, welcome to Rufio. It is Joe here. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. If you're back again, what the fuck is wrong with you? You probably should have run away whilst you had a chance. If you subscribed, even more insane are you to be here again. We are discussing this time uh, Dino Variants going into Master Rule 5. Uh, I'll have done two others at this point in time. Maybe they'll be uploaded before or after, who knows? Bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, I'm basically just going through my favourite decks and how I feel they are going to fare in the new format. And I think the Dino actually, out of them all, is probably the strongest one uh, in terms of hits and changes on the ban list and that kind of thing. I actually think Dino's in a really solid position. Uh, so I'm going to discuss why that is. I've got my trusty notebook here, so if you do see me looking down, not making eye contact, that's exactly what I'm looking at, so I don't forget any information that I'd like to share with you guys. So there are a whole bunch of things to be optimistic about going into the new format for dinosaurs in general, and I actually think they're going to be a really, really solid pick. Definitely at a, a minimum, I would say, a tier two deck. Although none of us may even be able to play in this entire format anyway, in which case this whole video is pointless. However, some of us are still playing online. We have to get off fixed somehow. So uh, just some quick notes, particularly looking at some different bits in terms of uh, what was on the list, what's coming up, uh, and how the deck benefits as a whole from the changes in the format uh, and the changes in the master rules. So the first thing to note, the most important thing to note, is that Overraptor survived the list. Actually, some people were calling for this to get hit, which is insane to me. And I was terrified before when we saw things like Dragon Link come about that we were maybe going to see that happen instead of hit them hitting Ib. Uh, and the OCG has had hits on Dinos for quite some time that we haven't had and matched. So I was kind of worried about that, but fortunately, Oviraptor wasn't hit. And it is one of the most important cards of the deck. It is arguably your most important normal summon uh, gets you to whatever you need to get to. So that being untouched is a really, really strong position for dinos to be in. Uh, in terms of the best variants, so we can look at the likes of Lost World and uh, the True King variants, or the ones that lap over between the two, which is what most people are playing at the moment, at least to my knowledge, or certainly were towards the end of the format. Uh, and I feel that they're still probably in the strongest position. We do, however, though, see a small boost on things like Dino Dolls, which is... You know, I hate to say it, but it's definitely one of my favourite variants of the deck. Uh, not necessarily as strong, although many people are packing that small Shadol engine, maybe one, two, or even three copies of Shadol cards, uh, and then splashing the fusions in so that they can go forward. Uh, the obvious advantage of that is the fact that we now have those zones open and we don't rely on links as much. That is a huge boost to Dinos. Obviously, people are going to be running things like Extravagance to boost the consistency, completely understand. However, for those of you who prefer to use your extra deck entirely for utility cards, you now have effectively 15 slots. I mean, after you take out Dolker and Lagia, that leaves you with like 13 other slots that you can play with. Uh, and given that we now have easy access to rank fours, we have easy access to synchros, and all those things without necessarily having to link climb, actually your link package is going to be quite small. Potentially you're looking at things like uh, Cross Sheet if you're running any kind of fusion variant, particularly with uh, Shadows, or maybe you're running like Interfusion or Super Poly or any of those things. Um, and that could be really strong for that. However, we can run a lot of ranks. Uh, so rank fours will be a big one to go for. Um, and, and just, you know, opening up those zones is going to be really, really solid. Uh, I do want to touch quickly on Thunder Dragon variants. I'm not personally convinced that this has any real benefit to run at the moment. Uh, sure, you can tub out Titan as well, but the real strength with uh, the Dino Thunder variant was obviously generated you a lot of advantage, particularly if you're using like double Evo Pill uh, and Banishing Thunder Dragons, you're getting pluses galore, which is really, really nice, but it doesn't really go anywhere from there. Um, and given that we don't have Colossus anymore, and we haven't had for over a format now, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that there's enough benefit to warrant running it. Personally, my suggestion is if you're going to run it, you run the True King Lost World variant. Uh, Lost World is actually an insane field card. Uh, another one of those cards that I suspect we may see people call in to get hit in future formats. Uh, just generating token advantage, um, you know, reducing your opponent's attacks, usually at least. Uh, helping you set up your babies, that kind of thing is really, really cool. 
Um, we're also seeing obviously diagrams still at one, so that didn't get hit further. Uh, Litho stayed on the list, which is really, really nice. It's really strong. Of course, there are a lot of earth types, uh, and you can obviously double up with Agnimazud because we run plenty of fires as well in the likes of Dracaeolo and Miscellaneousaurus. Um, so I think that the True King Lost World hybrid variant is probably the best. I still really like to use that small uh, Chanel package in there, but that's entirely up to yourselves. So we are on Force Interlinks, we've got Better Utility in the Extra Deck. Uh, Extravagance is obviously really powerful for those who do want to play it. We're also potentially going to see Jewel Beast get dropped into the format um, not too far away. Although it is worth noting that in Europe we are currently uh, locked down to the point where we are no longer getting new product printed here. So we may actually see a weird discrepancy for those American viewers out there who will have access to Jewel Beast. Uh, that is going to be a really important card potentially in the way we are building uh, dino builds as a whole. Uh, we are not going to see it in Europe, so we may have to wait a little bit longer before we get it. Uh, that's of course unless they decide to do just a blanket uh, stop on any new product until this whole thing is blown over. Um, as a whole, I think the dino's in a really, really good strong place. Uh, it's always been a kind of pretty solid rogue pick. Uh, Ulmer Conductor Tyranno is an absolute beast of a card. And being able to go into things like double Evo pill to bring up Coatlas, so you've got a negate on board, being able to go into Nat Beast, which now is going to be a little bit harder because even though we've still got uh, Giant Rex, we don't have Glow Bulb anymore. Um, but there are still ways to get into the, the kind of fusions and synchros and exes that you wanted to do, but actually you've still got that extra freedom because we aren't limited by the link zones in the same respect. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have got any ideas or seen anything that you think that I've missed or ideas you'd like to add to the pile so other viewers can see them in the comments definitely leave some comments down below um, if you haven't already please hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content i put together for you enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment before you go be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility thanks again for checking in and i'll see you in the next one